This One Degree Outside video is sponsored by Fiesta Shows. Have fun with the whole family. August 8th through 10th of the Bolton Fair with Fiesta Shows. It's rides, games, live entertainment, and delicious food. Don't miss out. Skip the ticket line and save using promo code one degree at fiesta.onedegreeoutside.com. Sunday evening essentials. Hi, everyone. Meteorologist Danielle Noyce here. Hope you've had a wonderful weekend. If you've noticed the humidity tick up just a little bit today, it's not your imagination. Dew points in the mid to upper 60s in spots. When we get to that level, you feel it a little bit, especially if you're sensitive to humidity levels. Now, when the dew point's up near 70, that's when it's tropical. It's soupy. It's oppressive. We don't really see that in the cards in the coming days, despite the fact that heat does come in. Dew points will be in the 60s and creep up ever so slightly through the middle part of the week, especially. If you want a two-week dew point forecast and a two-week feels-like forecast, that is included in each of our membership levels. We've got four levels to choose from. How do you sign up? Really easy. Membership.onedegreeoutside.com. There's more info on there as well. Thank you to the hundreds that have signed up so far to help continue to push the One Degree Outside mission forward. All right, this evening, beautiful summer evening out there. Enjoy it. Mostly clear skies. We're going to cruise back through the 80s into the 70s and the 60s overnight tonight. And by summer standards, it will be fairly comfortable. A touch of valley fog may develop and also on Cape Cod and the islands with a very light wind out there too. So stargazing, if you could do it tonight, yes. And the Perseid meteor shower, by the way, peaks this week. It's actually a fairly long meteor shower. It starts in mid-July and lasts through August 23rd. But again, the night of the 12th and the 13th later this week, it will be a little bit harder to view. The moon's putting a little bit of a crimp at our plants here because we're just coming off of the full sturgeon moon. So it's still about 84%. So you want to get away from light. The more stars you see, maybe block the moon out, right? Then the better chance you have of seeing some shooting stars. They actually originate from the comet Swift-Tuttle. So if you're able to get out and enjoy it, especially in the coming days with beautiful weather and clear skies, you should be able to see at least some, although it won't be as ideal as if there were perhaps a new moon out there. Predicted high temperatures next few days. It's all about the heat, right? We've had more intense heat and more intense humidity this summer, but it's still going to be hot. We're in the low to mid 90s in many areas. I do think we may touch 90 plus at the coast, but then a sea breeze may kick in locally from the coast of Maine back down into eastern Massachusetts. 70s to lower 80s on the Cape, up near 90 in the Champlain Valley. And each overnight, too, gets a little bit milder. So mid to upper 60s for our Monday night with mainly clear skies. Again, the humidity isn't overly oppressive or muggy, though. So it takes a while, obviously, to cool the house down if you don't have AC or are giving the AC a break. But you will be able to do it kind of gradually through the overnight period. 92 to about 96 for high temperatures on Tuesday. We may hit the upper 90s in a few spots factor in the humidity and I'd add probably a couple degrees to these temperatures again with that dew point still in the 60s it's not like it's overly oppressive but it's hot no matter what 80 to 85 for many of us on the Cape 70s on Nantucket Wednesday you notice a little green showing up and we'll look at that in a second that's a cold front that will approach with the heat and increasing humidity just a bit on Wednesday that will fuel a few pop-up thunderstorms highs again go 92 to 98 so there may be some local sea breezes that kick in each afternoon. And then if we can get the wind to kind of shift around, it'll warm even at the coastline. So you know the drill at this point of the summer, but important to remind you that hydration is the key, right? Electrolytes can help have the sunblock on. It's going to be a lot of sunshine the next couple of days too. So if you're out at the beach or enjoying any outdoor activities, make sure to put it on and reapply. Clothing, lightweight, Loose, light-colored clothing makes a big difference. And then taking regular breaks if you're outside in the shade can be really helpful as well. Check on your neighbors and those that have a tough time in the heat as well. High pressure and control. So what does that mean for us? It means a fairly storm-free stretch. There may be an isolated storm in northern New England. Monday, coverage is not that great. Tuesday, bright sunshine, maybe an isolated storm in northern Maine. Can't rule out a stray one here or there, but most of us are dry. Wednesday, we start dry. Clouds increase. That's ahead of a cold front that will bring some storms into western New England and maybe a few that slide east on Wednesday because of the heat and humidity in place. And this front comes through Wednesday night into Thursday, so there may still be a few lingering showers or a storm around on Thursday. We'll watch the timing of that front, and that front will break the heat and cool things down a bit as we head through the end of the week. Want to talk about the tropics. You're going to be hearing a lot about this in the days to come. We've got two different waves to look at. There's one out in the central Atlantic. That's not a big deal. Low chance of formation here over the next two to seven days. But notice this area of low pressure. 
developing off the west coast of Africa. This is one of the strongest waves we've had so far this season, showing good organization. This will become tropical depression, then tropical storm, then hurricane Aaron in the days to come, making its way westward, has pretty good environmental conditions to strengthen over the course of this week. There, the odds that this storm would curve out in the Atlantic are fairly high right now as it looks. That said, obviously, we're going to keep a close eye on this in the days to come. You're going to see and hear a lot about it as this wave continues to organize and make its way westward into the central Atlantic. But the time frame really to keep an eye on things wouldn't be until next weekend, believe it or not, and the week after that. It's going to take a little while before it moves over the central Atlantic, but it will be strengthening in the days to come. Meantime, did you know you can track the tropics right in our app, the interactive radar, once the storm is named, there's actually tropical overlay that you can put right on there in the interactive radar layer. Our app, by the way, is free. It's got five-star reviews. Give it a try. App Store, Google Play. Our merchandise, of course, is at swag.1degreeoutside.com. Have a great night, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow morning with more weather info. And it's always on our website, the number one degreeoutside.com, social media, and at the top of our One Degree Outside weather app.